and I freaking hook a giant, man. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh. There we go. That's the big one. It's the big one. Whatever it is, it's big. I'm here. God, I hope not. Oh, it's a bass. Okay. Got him. Yeah, I'm on too. Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Fishing with Calvin and welcome back to another tournament vlog. And if you're unfamiliar with the series, it's pretty much where I show you guys how my tournament went and explain to you guys what we were doing and what we were catching them on. And so today, we're gonna be recapping my tournament out at Glen Elder, otherwise known as Wakanda Lake. Man, I was just super excited for this tournament, guys. Last year I won it with a crazy bag. It's known primarily for smallmouth, and so that's that's kind of more up my alley compared to largemouth. So since I won it last year, I was hoping to go back to back, and it seemed like the weather was the exact same as last year. Overcast, we're supposed to get some rain, and it was pretty cool. It was a perfect day for a tournament, and for my partner, I drew JR. He's a hell of a fisherman and he, he actually pre-fished this lake like a week before. He said he did pretty well. He found some spots, which I was pretty excited for because if he says he found some spots, then we're in pretty good hands. So come take off. We let all the other boats rip out of the cove. I think two others stayed inside the cove. We did the same and we circled back around and fished like the literal bank, like right next to the ramp. And it didn't really take a minute before we got into some action. Yeah, he's a decent. Yeah, that's. Got him. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yep. That's, that might be good. Huh? That might be good. That's a good one. Dirty. That's what they want. Yeah. 
Let's see if it works. <laughs> Need the net? You said you needed it? No. It's <laughs> coming. It's three zero, JR. Yeah, it is three zero. Stayed a long day. <laughs> Stupid fucking nigga. Time you catch a pecker here. Yeah, I'm here. Please get some. You know what? He's good. I'm just uh, get, get the net there. I'll pick his ass. Hand me that board. I'm on the board, bonehead. Got him on your fucking net rig, you happy? Yep. Fifteen and a half. Or no, sixteen. Oh, there it is. Sixteen and a half. Sixteen and a half. fish over here. Dude, I'm on the board now. I gave you your head start. <laughs> What's it like, four to one? Is it four to one? I think so. Well, better get your lamp. You might be all you take the rest of the jig. About to nail a big one on this jig. <laughs> Try to keep them down. I think this is the brother of yours. Thank you, thank you. Yep. Guess what bait they're eating now? Two. Yep. Fifteen and a half. Yeah, slight. That's a good one. He's a card fish, but he's not big. Yeah. How good he makes pull him into that. Look at that. Did you get that on the camera? I did. You're gonna edit that out, I guess. Yep. Unbelievable start, man. It's funny because JR asked me, like, on the ride up to the lake, he's like, are you just gonna, what's the plan for today? Are you just gonna Ned rig him to death? And I was like, yeah, pretty much. That's what we needed, though. I mean, we don't have winning size right now, but at least we don't have to worry about getting a limit because we're already, like, one to two fish away. But, man, I do wish I would have been able to land that third one. It felt like a freaking nice fish jr was saying it was probably close to 18 19 but eventually that bank ran dry so we decided to move across the cove to the opposite bank and see if we could find them there there's one it's little white perch
Yeah, that's a decent one. Hey, not too bad. I think both of us were able to finish our limits with those with those fish right there. If you guys are wondering what kind of swim bait uh, I was throwing, it's super finesse. I actually took some out to show you guys. I like to show you guys like a bait every tournament, like what I was using. Just got a mega bass, uh, screw head, jig head, but it's got a it's got a spinning propeller right behind the head makes for some nice action to it and then on top of that i got some 2.8 inch swing impact palatel swim baits this is a freaking awesome swim bait right here again another bait i just recently got into slayed a bunch of bass on a chatter bait with one of these with one of these things on the back of it the only problem with these is they tear up super easily but other than that they're a great swim bait yeah that's kind of like a finesse swim bait that'll get them fired up especially if they're feeding on bait which i saw a bunch of fish schooling on bait fish so that's why i started throwing that and it worked but anyway after that uh we decided to turn the bank and start fishing the main lake to see if we get any post spawn fish yeah i'm here It's pretty long. Not bad. <laughs> Might be decent. What was cool about this spot, guys, was that it was a big flat. I didn't realize it at first because it was too cloudy, but as the sun started rolling, I could see the bottom. It was super clear, super clear water. Saw a couple Good fish one. swimming. Unfortunately, I couldn't get them. So again, we pick up some more fish. We didn't run into a big school like we were hoping, but it was worth a shot. So after we got done fishing that bank, we decided to go back into the cove one last time and see if we can't get any fish that we missed. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Get some nips. Is it? It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Get the net. Get the net. It might be a drum. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's big. I'm here. It's big. God, I hope not. Oh, it's a bass. It's a, it's a drum. You like the fucker? You want to admit it? Yeah. God damn it. That looks like a bass to me. I'm pretty sure this is a bass. He might get 20 some inches. Well, as you guys saw, we were able to pick off a few more. And then we even picked off a few more that you guys didn't get to see because my footage got corrupted. So I'll just tell you guys about it. JR was telling me he found some nice fish like in the back of that cove we were fishing. Uh, he said he was finding them on beds 18 and 19 inches. And so we go back there just to see if there's any back there still. Actually, I can't remember if I was throwing a worm or if I was throwing the net rig, but one of the two, I caught a, caught a pretty nice fish in the back of that cove, just casting out into the middle of nowhere. I feel like we could have stayed in that cove pretty much all day, but I feel like we wouldn't have got the size we needed. And JR knew that, so after we finished fishing up that cove, and we decided to go out towards the right side of the cove, out towards the main lake again, so we decided to fish there for a little bit.
Sounds like a what? Sounds like get frustrated. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. Hit hard. Nah, never mind. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> he's good. He's good. 20 inch right there. Unfortunately, that fish did not help, regardless of how big it felt. But we didn't stay there for too long before we decided to move out and move to another spot JR found. And this spot he was telling me was super good. Uh, this was one of JR's honey holes. And so I'm not gonna say where where on the lake it's at. He was saying he caught quite a few 18s in the spot. So I was ready, I was ready to lay the hammer on some smallmouth until we pulled up to the spot and it was just, it was kind of bare. It was like the complete opposite of what we were, we were just fishing. It was shallow, like a foot of water, no rocks, just kind of like a, shallow flat uh, with a bunch of stick ups and man-made structures so as soon as we pulled up i knew we were going to fish for some largemouth and i wasn't really prepared for this kind of fishing i thought we were going to be targeting smallmouth all all day like we did last time but i decided to throw my baits anyway and he wasn't lying we caught some fish Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Nineteen and a half. Boy, solid Nice one. I'm getting that on video. I got it. You got one? Yeah. He was good until It's ready. <laughs> he's, he's right there, I got him. I still got him, he's down there. I just don't know how I got him pinned. <laughs> I might just reach down there and grab it. Try that. I got it. Got him. <sighs> yeah, he's good. I got this one too. I got more. There we go. Sixteen. What was yours? Sixteen and four. Sixteen and four. Yeah, I'm on too. Hey, 
Never mind. Stick. Need something bigger. How the hell we end up all the way over here? Oh well. Oof, it was it was insane. He had him dialed in. He caught a whole lot more than I got on video because my GoPro battery died and I didn't want to take the time to put in another one. And so he caught a lot more than I got on video. I was just, I was not ready for that type of fishing. I did get that one that helped. I think my net was just too small a presentation, especially in that muddy water. It was just, it wasn't working out. But anyway, while my camera's dead, we ended up going to another spot and it was pretty much the exact same thing. Stick ups, PVC pipes, man-made structures, uh, stuff like that. And we just continue to do what we've been doing. But I went back to flipping that net again and freaking like first couple of casts, I flipped right around a, right around a PVC pipe structure and I freaking hook a giant man like I think this fish was I think this fish would have won me big bass it was it was going around 20 inches I feel like it was uh, set the hook fought it for like two three seconds and it popped off snapped the line I was so mad because I just tied that net rig on from breaking off I was just about to loosen up the drag and snap we kept moving on though I finally start throwing my power worm and I end up hooking one up on the stick ups. Man, that was a that was a much needed fish. Now I think I'm knocking on the door of about 15 pounds, uh, which is a good bag. Uh, I'm feeling good, but I still need to catch a couple more, upgrade a little bit. So now that I got one on the worm, I just keep throwing that, pitching it around like every little bush, every little structure I see. But unfortunately, we couldn't pull another one out. So we decided to book it over to another part of the lake. And then right here, we had a little bit of a setback. The boat ride started getting a little bumpy, and I was, keep in mind, I was grabbing JR's rods, my rods, I'm trying to hold the measuring board, I'm holding my hat, and I'm also trying to hold myself in the boat. And so, the measuring board, it starts slipping, it starts riding down the boat, and I'm trying to still keep my hand on the rods while also keeping my forearm on the tape measure, or on the, on the measuring board, but I was losing hold of it. Soon as JR grabbed it and was trying to keep a hold of it, flew out the back of the boat. That sucker was gone. There was no getting that thing back. Anyway, we tricked on anyway and we decided to just use the JR had a tape measure like on the front of his boat. So we decided to use that if we caught any more fish. And so the next spot, this new spot, was kind of like a mix between our first first couple spots and the spots we just fished. So the water clarity, the water clarity is like in between. It's stained water but it's not super muddy and then there's a little bit of rock but it's still pretty shallow just nothing was biting though until we got to the very back end of the cove jr actually found some underwater brush piles like in the middle of the cove we tried fishing those for a little bit and it wasn't working out so i then i took my power worm into no particular area just up on the bank and i did a nice little bite Hopefully it helps. Yep. Usually those smallmouth will kill a four inch worm, but it's pretty rare to get them on the seven inch. But after that, we really didn't get too many bites. And so we started making our way out of the cove and we made our way to some boat docks. I was pretty excited about this because I usually don't get to fish boat docks. There's always like some signs that say you can't fish them or whatever. But today, these docks didn't have any signs on them. So we decided to take the opportunity to go ahead and fish them.
spot. And JR was able to catch a rare spot of bass. It's pretty short lived though, because we ended up getting kicked out like a couple minutes later, because some dude that was working there said we couldn't fish there anymore. And they changed it last year. You got to be 50 foot off commercial docks. Okay. Commercial okay, I, didn't, I didn't see the sign. Yeah, no, we haven't put them up yet just because the state's still getting everything finalized, but good luck to you guys. Thanks. It's whatever though. We ended up going back to our starting spot. I fished there for a little bit. Got a couple bites, but couldn't connect on nothing, which sucked. I was still trying to upgrade a couple more fish. Yeah, guys, that's a wrap. So now, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering how good I did. I actually went back to the ramp feeling pretty confident. There's only six boats in the tournament, and so I feel like I just barely squeaked out a win. I would have felt like I had a guaranteed win, though, if I would have caught that one giant that I was telling you guys about that I didn't get on video, or if I had that, like, second or third by the morning. Just either one of those fish, it was over. But, of course, that's not how fishing goes. And so, the result, I got second place. I lost by a pound. Just barely got beat by Don. Yeah, but congrats to Don. He deserved it. And then on the boater side, JR actually took a dub. Can't remember if he won Big Bass or not. I think it was him or Ricky. But congrats to JR too. I felt like he had that one in the bag. I think looking back on it, if I had to do it all over again, I probably would have. I needed to put down that Ned rig and start throwing something different. Throwing my worm more. Senko. I actually thought about throwing a Senko before JR even started throwing it. Should have tied that on or even copied JR and threw the tube. I just, I should have took the extra time to throw on something different, man. It sucks. But hey, we learn for next time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like, buy some merch, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Pick up a jig for a minute. Get that on video? Yep. I've been too late with that out. <laughs> I will. Fuck you out. I can't wait till he posts that shit on YouTube so I can watch it and see what you're saying. Alright. Uh, I'm making sure he's got to put it on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be no sound in this fucking video. You hear that, you fucking prick? <laughs> <laughs> I'll knock it off. Freaking Ned Rig. Next time you go to the net a fish for him, hit the bait and the fish is mad. <laughs> okay. Freaking Ned Rigging. He calls himself the Ned King. He's Ned Rigging. He's Ned Rigging. <laughs>